A photo at the bottom corner of the slide shows a picture of a space in between buildings known as Street Canyon. Now, imagine that you are in this space as a pedestrian or cyclist. How would you feel? I believe that you will feel very hot, uncomfortable, and having difficulty to breathe. It is unfavorable conditions. But if roadside trees are planted in this space, you will otherwise feel comfortable as it provides natural shade from direct sunlight. However, without you realizing it, presence of roadside trees in this space could cause you to inhale high dose of air pollution from nearby ground vehicles. This is due to the fact that roadside trees have an aerodynamic effect toward the incoming wind that reduces local wind speed and subsequently increase the accumulation of pollutant. Based on these arguments, you are probably wondering, shall we or shall we not plant roadside trees in Street Canyon? Now, this question is really matters to us because up till now, presence of both thermal atmospheric conditions and roadside trees have not yet been investigated in great detail. In my PhD study, I wanted to know the extent of air quality and thermal comfort due to presence of both thermal atmospheric conditions and roadside trees and how these physical factors behave simultaneously. In order to investigate these parameters in great details, I have conducted a series of parametric studies using a sophisticated simulation technique. Based on simulation, I had observed complex wind flow structure within the street canyon due to the interaction between momentum force from the free stream wind, buoyancy force from the respective heated wall, and momentum sink from the tree crown. I had identified that thermal atmospheric condition is the most important factor in enhancing wind speed and air quality. Interestingly, presence of roadside trees is only second after street aspect ratio in reducing wind speed and air quality. On the other hand, presence of roadside trees can maintain the surrounding air temperature near neutral conditions. This result implies the importance of having both thermal atmospheric conditions and roadside trees for the benefit of pedestrians and cyclists. So, the next time you take a walk or ride a bicycle along Street Canyon, be very thankful not only to presence of roadside trees, but also to the sun. In the meantime, I would like to express my hope to various organizations to enhance the effort of planting more roadside trees in Street Canyon, especially in a country having hot climate like Malaysia to reduce the impact of hot conditions towards pedestrians and cyclists. Thank you.